It was early in November and coyotes could be heard off into the distance. The farmer jumps out of bed and goes out to see what's going on. And as the farmer arrived on the scene, what he saw was his livestock guardian dogs facing off with a pack of coyotes. But before the farmer could do anything, one of his dogs, a pup by the name of Casper, leapt over the four foot fence that he had around his farm. And the dog just started going head to head with the coyotes. Some vicious dog fighting ensued. And the farmer said that the dog actually ended up killing eight of the 11 coyotes that were there and the other three got chased off. And meanwhile, all five of the farmer's sheep were left completely unharmed. But sadly, Casper the dog ran off too and wasn't seen for a couple of days. But a couple of days later, he did end up turning up in the farmer's chicken coop and he was rushed to the vet and he got a ton of veterinary treatment, almost $15,000 worth. And the really good news is Casper is on the road to recovery and this dog has become an absolute national hero. Casper managed to kill eight of the coyotes, saving the sheep, but was badly hurt. He just came out the fence here and killed more. They had a fight all up and down this creek. It's been about a month and he's looking great. And I gotta say, I'm super impressed. I'm super impressed with Casper. I'm super impressed with the fact that he's gonna be okay. And lately, a lot of folks have actually been emailing me this story asking for my opinion. While I'm glad it seems like Casper's gonna have a happy ending, I most certainly don't want something like that happening on my farm. Isn't that right, Abby Dabby Doo? No, we don't want to be fighting coyotes. Because as many of you guys know, we have livestock guardian dogs here on our farm too. But over the last couple of years, I've started to form an opinion on how livestock guardian dogs should really protect your animals. And it's a little bit different than the Casper story. Good morning, birds! How's everybody doing this morning? Everybody's looking pretty happy and healthy. That's good to see. Hey, Barty. Hey, Martha. Yeah, the Hoop Coop continues to be the toastiest building on the farm other than our farmhouse. So for those of you guys who watch this video and are unfamiliar with our farm, we have a duck, goose, chicken and tree and cow farm. And we have livestock guardians on our farm because we want to make sure we keep our ducks and geese and chickens safe. And so we started off with Toby Dog back in 2019 and we added Abby Dog earlier this year. And ever since their arrival, I'm pretty sure I've only lost one bird to a predator and that was an aerial predator. So sometimes there's not much they can do about that. So Toby Dog and Abby Dog, they live outdoors 24 seven. They basically protect this building and all of its residents. Abby Dog's still a little bit in training. She's getting better and better. Toby Dog is pretty much the perfect livestock guardian dog. And a lot of times folks will ask me if they ever fight coyotes or if they ever fight other animals or predators. And my answer to that when I'm asked is, I sure as heck hope not. But guy, it would be so cool if the dogs and the coyotes, they were like fighting and stuff, man. Release the quacker! <laughs> Now I hope nobody sees me making this video and thinks I'm throwing shade at the farmer or at Casper. I genuinely believe that that dog is brave and valiant and just an absolutely incredible protector. But the reason I make this video is because the story's become popular and it's gained a lot of attention and I don't want people to get the wrong impression. You see, after my personal experience, I genuinely feel that livestock guardian dogs are an important resource for farmers and homesteaders. I think breeds like the Great Pyrenees, which Casper is, or their Italian cousins, the Maremmas, which is the breed of dog that Toby Dog and Abby Dog are. They're an important form of non-lethal predator control to protect your poultry or goats or sheep. But I don't want people to see Casper's story and think that these dogs are fighters. And the way that they're gonna keep your animals safe is by fighting off the predators. Because even though our woods are crawling with coyotes and bobcats and bears and foxes, my dogs are keeping my birds safe in a very very different manner. To my knowledge, neither dog has ever tangled with any wildlife whatsoever. And that's exactly the way I want it. You see, I believe managing a farm is like managing an ecosystem. You need to find a way to keep everything in your ecosystem in balance. Because we have poultry that eats bird feed, critters like mice and voles are very, very common around here because they're attracted by the feed that I feed the birds. And so to balance things out, we have barn cats on our farm to limit the rodent population. All 
Also by having birds and having rodents around our farm, that often attracts predators like coyotes. Did you know that the majority of a coyote diet in these here parts comes from rodents? And so rather than letting a predator like a coyote become the apex predator for our farm's ecosystem, we brought in our livestock guardian dogs as a way to have them as the apex predator. You know, a typical coyote around here clocks in at around 40 or 45 pounds. Meanwhile, Abby Dabby Doo and Toby Dog are both coming in at nearly 100. And there's two of them. So while I believe that if they ever had a head-to-head -head fight with coyotes, that Toby and Abby, particularly if they're working together, would easily beat that pack, I don't want to risk that. I don't want to like actively put my dogs in a situation where they're dog fighting. What I want them doing is walking around the farm and marking the territory and peeing on every fence post and barking when they hear an animal coming near. It's essentially their doggy way of saying, hey you coyotes, get away from here. I'm the biggest, meanest, baddest animal in this block. Yes, they're effectively creating a bubble and that bubble protects our farm because they're just saying, hey, this is our turf and territory. But I also take steps to ensure that they're never ever having some direct conflict. And that's where things like our fence are really, really important. So this fence that we have here is a woven wire fence that is pretty much impossible for like a fox or coyote or bobcat to get through. They could potentially jump it, but it's still, it's five and a half feet high. And I also have this electric top wire at the top. And this type of thing is gonna actively discourage the coyotes from trying to attempt to come in. And then it also discourages my dogs from ever trying to leave. So while the dogs are creating a soft, invisible barrier around our farm. The fence is adding an additional rigid layer of protection to avoid any direct dog and coyote conflict. Now that's not to say that this system is perfect and that's not to say that there's never gonna be a coyote incident here on our farm, but it is to say I think it's important to take steps to prevent any direct interaction between your livestock guardian dog and the predator. It's better for both your dog as well as for the wildlife. I mean, let's be honest, if you were to look at the Casper story from the coyote's angle, it's actually a little bit sad. Here you have this family of animals who are starting to get hungry in the leaner months of fall. They stumble upon what they think could be a potential meal, and then most of the family gets darn near wiped out. That almost feels like the saddest possible Disney movie I could ever imagine. Hey, Abby Dog, our pond has officially become a skating rink. Do you want to try to go ice skating? Based on your footprints, I can tell you've been out here already today. Just be careful. Don't want you falling in. Aw, I love you, Abby Dabby Doo. Hey, Carmen, I got a little bread for you. I have to sneak my chickens the bread. And they usually come running for it pretty quick. But I don't want the ducks to eat the bread because it's not good for ducks to eat bread. The chickens get in there quite fiercely. It's funny, it's like all the other chickens get the signal that there's free food and they come running. And then it's like a football. See, they're fighting over that one. They're fighting over this one. Pretty adorable. Do you guys remember Runaway Red? She's actually right here. Um, she's the one right in front of me. She stopped running away, which is a good thing. And there you can see one of our other predators on the farm, Pablo Barncat. Out there stalking something. Trying to win Barncat of the Year. And hopefully reducing the mouse population. He's a patient critter, that's for sure. And then we have Ginny Barncat watching Pablo Barncat. Ginny remains in the lead of Barncat of the Year. So you guys might be noticing on the fence over here that I've suddenly set up some poly wire that I typically use for my cattle, but I have it here connected to our electric fence. The reason for that is we had a little training set back the other day. You see my darling Abby dog, she began jumping over the chicken wire and getting into the bird yard, which I don't want her doing just yet. While she's a darling girl and she's made so much progress in her training, she's still not a full-fledged livestock guardian dog yet, which is perhaps another myth about livestock guardian dogs that I think is worth busting. You know, some folks think about livestock guardian dogs like they're just a tool, like you'd go buy a chainsaw at the hardware store and pull it out of the box, throw some chain oil in it, throw some gasoline in it, and boom, you're good to go. And while these dogs most definitely do operate on instinct and they are suited for the jobs that they do, sometimes they do require training. And particularly with Abby Dog, I've worked a lot over the course of this year to get her to a place where she could potentially be a livestock guardian dog. And so I don't want people to hear the story of Casper or even see our YouTube videos and think that like a livestock guardian dog is an instant solution to your predator problems. Owning the dogs takes work, it costs money, and so don't just think of it as a simple fix that you have to buy. If you guys wanna see some videos with our livestock guardian dogs in action, I'll leave a couple of videos right here and I'll be back with another video really soon. Thank you. Thank you. Why did I say thank you? That's like such a weird, awkward thank you. Uh.
Dumb. 